great thing is, is if there's a limitation of extension and a limitation of supination, those are the two big indicators like we have with other rules that that is somebody who needs to have film x-ray. So those are the biggest indicators. You're also going to look at if there's pain and swelling in the area as well. Uh, you'll look for discoloration. Uh, you're going to look at that carrying angle and uh, looking to see if it's at least that 15 degree angle. It's a little bit more acute in, uh, in females than males as well. You're going to look at the olecranon and palpate the olecranon itself and see if there's any pain or discomfort and you can kind of move it back and forth as well. And then you can just look at the, from the range of motion, just do a little bit over pressure to see if that's muscle guarding. Uh, again, not common, but will be, it does happen more and more with direct access where you'll have your older patients that are trying to be independent and maybe some of those stubborn boomers who, who don't want to go anywhere, they're going to fall, they're going to hurt themselves, and they're, not, they're going to bypass the emergency room and come to you. So.